uh, probably like when we talk about healthcare, we have a pre-COVID healthcare and post-COVID healthcare. Because during COVID, a lot of things happened where we had to adopt and adapt with technology. So probably like Balasar would remember that like when our teachers of teachers who used to talk about the appropriate technology in public health, primary health care, it had to be certain characteristics and we had a line which said that need driven technology, that the technology should evolve and subserve the needs what either at an individual level or public health level. But in the last few years and years to come, it would be technology driven needs. You have a vehicle, where we can go. You have an autonomous decision making algorithm, what it can do for you. So it's no more reactive technology, it is predictive, synthetic and a lot of things are happening. So in that context, uh, I will uh, have uh, probably with the permission of the chair and the other audience, we will have two rounds. We have very eminent panelists, we just heard, uh, where they are going to talk about their experiential uh, learnings from their previous uh, experiences to see how there has been a change in technology. And probably the second round we are going to have how it has a bearing on the ethical issues that we are discussing here and what should be the dimensions and directions of ethical framework for assessing those technologies both in research and in practice. In the man order, December will Toranga Patade, PSG IMS, RIC, Yakunar Matrum, Amepat Talever, Doctor Sudha Ramalingam Maravecha, Persi in Talever, Doctor Nandini Kumar, Manate Patri Pesinar, Melum Persi, PSG Sevier Kalluri Mudalver, Doctor Jay Sudha, Talame Vagita, Matrum Martua Sevegal, Martua Kankani Palar, Doctor R. Karthi Gayan, Walti Pesinar, Doctor Bone Swari Nandri Kurinar. Dr. Vasanda Mutuswami in Neva Chutpuliway, Thailand in Pirkap Nirvana Talever, Dr. Vichai So Kikwat Palinginar, Matru Mulumayana Amarugalai, Sitzer Pirkap Arakatali in Talever, Dr. Jundra Karbong, Dr. Vinod Pal, Nidhi Ayo, Dr. Franco is his fans, Uringan in the Marthu Araichi, India will Nerimurai Kalvi, Katapata Pata Mandi the Parisodane Ayugal, Sayaka Nunaribu. Nunuir Ayugal, Pondo Sami Patia Tolinut Pangal Agiavatil Savalgal, Dr. Manis Parwalia, Dr. Manogar Kundeti, Dr. Melvin George, Dr. Balu B.S., Dr. Sandanu Tiripadi, Dr. Prakas Medi, Dr. Anuradha Rose, Matuntir Madivani Kesri, Dr. Ramalingam Sankaran, Serenda Tal Virudum Nirva Patate, Matrum India in Mumbai Ula, Said G.S. Marthua Kaluri, Matrum K.E.M. Marthua Malayin, Udavi Pera Sriarana, Dr. Palvi Kutyar Ade Petrar, Tripti in Madipid, Matrum Covid nineteen Tadapusi, Marthua Parisodanil, Panget for the Kana Karanangal, Mumbai or Watre Maya Ivy in the Talapil, our or Ivory K. Valanginar, Seven the Poster Vidical, Tirumadi Sabana R, Matrum Tirumadi Ala Ansari Agi Uruka Valanga Patade. Irangal Sedigalin Tokupudan, Dr. Vasanta Mutuswami, Pachi Nineu Putagam, ICMR Bioethics Prival Velida Patade, ICMR Bioethics Privin Talever, Dr. Roli Mathur, Persian Talever, Dr. Nandini Kumar, PSG Nursing Kaluri Mudalver, Dr. Ye Jayasuda, Arachi Matrum Kandipipical Yakuner, Dr. Sudha Ramalingam, Agur, Kayete Velitaner, Nada Mulavadum Irande, Nutri Ayamadir Kumate Pata Pradinical, Manatil Karandagondaner. Percy is actually Forum for Ethics Civil Committees in India. It was formed first in 2002, and the activity actually started in 2008. It is mainly addressing the concerns that the ethics committees have, yeah. and also the capacity building, uh, and how to help the ethics committees to function. These were all some of the objectives of this organization. So we have been progressing slowly but steadily uh, and uh, now Percy has become more visible because now the Ayush uh, sector is actually trying to have MOUs with Percy and Percy actually always had a uh, membership from uh, the Indian Council of Medical Research, uh, Dr. Vasantha Mutuswami no more now and myself we were from the ICMR mainly uh, uh, 
encouraging its activities and now the present program office of uh, Indian Conservatory Research Goli is also involved uh, in the activities of course. So this is mainly actually uh, trying to, you know, present circumstances, the role of ethics committees uh, have increased. Uh, people don't know how to write the standard operating procedures and there are certain issues that they face. So we have a list of also where these people put forward their problems and we try to actually find answers to that. So um, the, I mean, the function of uh, Percy is further going to be increased in the coming years and we hope that Percy will become uh, most strong organization in the country. So I am Dr. Sudha Ramlingam, uh, Director of Research and uh, Innovation at ESG and also the organizing chairperson of this conference, PERSICOM. So this is the 10th edition. We are doing this uh, conference in association with PERSI. Earlier in 2013, we had the second edition uh, organized here at PSG MSR under the leadership of the then uh, Dean, Dr. S. Ramlingam who was uh, spearheading all the ethics related activities in the institute. So ethics committee is very important to oversee the uh, clinical trials and various research that are being done by the postgraduate students, undergraduate students and faculty. So in the ethics committee is strengthened Pandrathike, what all is uh, needed is the uh, theme of the conference. So we are going to uh, deliberate on the various education initiatives and how we can empower the ethics committee to review the research proposals. So with the advent of uh, newer technologies like artificial intelligence and uh, various other research uh, methodologies, uh, the ethics committee is constantly under uh, you know challenges uh, because newer uh, proposals come, newer technologies come. So how we are going to address this and how we can empower the committee is the theme of the conference. We have experts from ICMR, uh, various Ayush ministries, and we had one plenary session by uh, Dr. Vinod Khan from Niti Ayush, and various other luminaries from PERCAP, uh, which is uh, located, which is part of the World Health Organization, as also from uh, INSERM France. So they are all going to deliberate uh, both in online and on site mode. And uh, it's going to be a very uh, challenge, like an you know, exciting two days to discuss uh, the various issues and how we can move forward uh, to have uh, ethical, uh, you know, uh, research in India. So that is the whole purpose of this conference. And we have more than 150 registrations, both online and off offline. Uh, you know, various experts have come from across the country to deliberate on this important topic. Uh,